Recent studies show that more people are moving to Florida than any other state. Now, one of the best places, in our opinion, to move is Sebastian. Right here. Now, with that being said, here are the 10 things you need to know before moving to Sebastian. Welcome to Living in Vero Beach. I'm Tanya Coletti and this is my husband and partner Zachary Coletti and we're a local real estate team here in Sebastian in Vero Beach, Florida. If this is your first time visiting our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified of when we post new videos every Thursday. We dive into everything there is to know about living in Vero Beach in Sebastian, Florida. We get a lot of calls and emails from people wanting to know more about what our area is like and we love it. So reach out to us anytime and we'll personally answer any questions you have. Our contact information will be in the comments below. All right, so let's do this. Number 10, throw on some shade. It gets hot in the summer and the sun will beat you down. It'll also beat right through your windows and heat up your attic, which will heat up your home. Mm -hmm. Now the hottest part of the day is like three to 4 p.m. during the summer. Now if any part of your home has full sun exposure, especially during that time of day, whether back, front, sides, make sure you plan for some shade. Yeah, you can plant fast growing trees like areca palms, clumping bamboo, and American red maple for, for natural shade. And you'll be happy if you can plant it along the entire south or southwest sides of your home. It's really nice if you can find a home that has nice big live oaks. Um, those can take a long time to grow though. Yeah, a lot of people we talk with are looking at you know, buying a brand new home, and there are some big benefits to doing that, but you know, when, when you're looking at buying a new build versus an existing home, shade is something that can easily be overlooked. You know, brand new homes will come with brand new trees, and you'll be waiting at least a couple of years before your trees start giving you any kind of shade. <laughs> you know, some key things to look at when searching for a home are the, the type and quality of attic of, insula uh, of attic insulation, roof venting, quality of windows and any window yeah. shading like Bahama shutters or any window tinting. Yeah, those things can make a big difference in your comfort level yeah. as well as your electric bill during those hot summer months. Yeah. It gets blazing. <laughs> Number nine, no local professional sports team. So, you know, if you're moving from big sports town and you have a team you love, you're gonna to wanna to find people that like the same team uh, so you can get the same feeling you got when you go see your team at one of your local hangouts from where you are from. Now, surprisingly, that can be easy to do because Sebastian does have an active social media groups and some great local bars with sports packages so you can catch your team when they are playing. Now, just down the road in Vero Beach, we used to have the Dodgers spring training, but that was cool. no more. You know, uh, they're not there anymore. But if you're into baseball, a 30 to 45 minute drive to Port St. Lucie, and you can catch a Mets spring training game. Now, if you're a football fan, for you Patriots, Jets, Giants, or Bills fans, you'll be in good company as there are a lot of people from those areas here in Sebastian. But being a Broncos fan myself, I can't really say the same, but you might just see me at the bar with my orange jersey on. And if you do, come and say hi. And that brings us to number eight. We have a small but quality local bar scene. Sebastian is a relatively small town. There are about 13,000 homes, which is around 30,000 people. But for a small town that doesn't have a college, we've got a pretty lively bar scene. I mean, I know of some towns that just have one bar and it's a sketchy <laughs> hole in the wall. <laughs> Our little town, we've got a nice variety. And what's cool is the majority of them are right on the Indian River Lagoon. So you can relax, enjoy the scenery, watch the boats go by, catch a nice breeze, all while enjoying your beverage. Live music is usually happening at places like Earl's Hideaway, the Tiki Bar, Hiram's. If you recently watched Oak, I Oak Island, you may recognize some of the footage was shot there at Hiram's. Yeah, you, you like craft beer? Yeah. You definitely want to visit our local brew pubs like Mash Monkeys and Peridolia. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing to mention is that not all bars and or pubs will offer liquor. Now that's a liquor license thing. There all, only are a certain number of liquor licenses available and they're really expensive too. Yeah. So if you're looking for a place to go and have a liquor drink, call first to see if they serve it and save yourself a trip. Now if you need more variety, a quick trip to the north in Melbourne 
or south to Vero will provide plenty of choices to find that perfect watering hole. Number seven, where are all the restaurants? Don't get me wrong, we've got some good ones, but if you like pizza, seafood, Asian food, you're in luck because Sebastian has at least two of each of those. If you're looking for something a little bit more unique or culturally diverse though, you're going to need to go to Vero or Melbourne to get your fix. Yeah, I have to say with every challenge, therein lies an opportunity. Now, if you're a restaurateur with a good idea for good food at good prices, it probably would do really well here in Sebastian. Like think something you're missing from back home that everyone would love, but please, no more pizza. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but no, really. Yeah, no, <laughs> no more pizza. <laughs> Number six, the beach. Whether spring, summer, winter, or fall, the beach is always beautiful and the water is never really that cold. So a quick jump in the water isn't going to be too traumatic, don't you think? I mean, you know, from Sebastian, it's it's only 15 minute scenic drive over the bridge straight to Abasso Beach. Yeah, and we've got some of the most beautiful beaches here in the country, and they are relatively uncrowded, absolutely beautiful. Any time of the year is good to go to the beach, whether you like to walk, exercise, relax, get a tan, fish, surf. You're, you know, even if you're a person who doesn't like the beach, I'm sure you'll go at some point to enjoy the beauty. Right? I mean, if you didn't, that'd be like living in New York and never going to Times Square. Weird. <laughs> hey, and you know what? There's none of the boxes where you have to park to pay. Pay to park. Free. Number five, boating. boating. Now, like the beach, if you don't boat, there's a good chance that you likely will when moving here. Now, you'll either meet someone with a boat, you'll charter a boat, you'll go for a river cruise out of Hiram's, or you're just gonna break down and buy one and make it a part of your lifestyle. You should. Yeah. So many places to explore and boat too. I mean, you've got the Indian River Lagoon and the inlet all the way out to the ocean. There really is no limit. This is a boater's paradise. Hey, you can even take your boat to the weekend trip, you know, for a weekend trip to the Bahamas. Yeah. Just make sure it's big enough though. You don't wanna try that one on a skiff. Yeah, one thing to, uh, that's important to know as the area grows, the need for more boat and RV storage is on the rise. Definitely. A few new storage yards, uh, yards are almost done and we do have a couple of marinas and powered docks, but the best scenario is to buy a home with enough space to park your boat and or your RV. Now another option is to buy into a boat share. Now either way, you'll wanna be on the water when you live here. Number four is schools. School schools and more schools. Yeah. For you parents out there, this is big. And this surprised me to learn too. Sebastian has a whopping seven preschools, five elementary schools, four middle schools, and two high schools, believe it or not, all for a population of around 30,000 people. Out of those 18 schools, only five are public, and the others are either private or charter schools. So you're either gonna have to pay or sign up for the lottery pick for your child to be accepted. Now, one thing to mention is that the high school has award-winning music and football programs. They're good. Now the marching band is an eye-popping 275 member band That's and huge. they are awesome. They have participated in major parades across the country, most recently being invited to the march uh, to march in the New York City St. Patrick's Day uh, parade in 2019. How cool is that? Sometimes you can hear them practice when you're outside and they are good. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. We mentioned that there aren't any pro teams here on the Sebastian, but you know, our Sebastian River High School Sharks, they are our main sports team. Yeah. So we love them. Friday nights at the high school stadium, that's where the action is. <laughs> Number three, we have bugs and critters and spiders and ants and mosquitoes and snakes and lizards and turtles and bobcats and yes, cockroaches and these little things called noceums. They're like invisible flying vampires. They suck. I mean, no, literally they suck and they pack a hell of a bite and they itch like crazy. Now, when I first moved here, I went out to the beach. I thought it was going to be a good idea to fall asleep on the beach under the stars. And when I awoke, my ankles were on fire. Now I scratched them and they kept itching and getting worse and worse. And when somebody told me it was no seams, I thought that they were messing with me. <laughs> but yeah, they're real and they're not spectacular. I wish I would have known that, honey, before, you know, I could have warned you. Yeah, you could. I could have warned you. The cool thing though is that you can put up a bat house and bats come out at the same time the mosquitoes and the no seams do. Yeah. And they eat them. Nature has a way of taking care of its problems. And bats are your answers to no seams and mosquitoes. Number two, we are like one big family in a small town. 
Now, when you move here, you're going to get to know a lot of the people that live and work in the community. You'll see them at the pub. You'll see them at the grocery store. Your kids will go to school with each other. Yes. You do business with each other. You'll look out for one another. Sebastian is still a small town. It still has that small town feel where you can wave and you'll say hi to your neighbors. Yeah, you can always tell the newbies by the ones who are honking their horns at the intersections. Yeah. You know, once you live here, you get into the groove, you'll realize that you can relax. Honking and aggressive driving are things of the past and less common here in Sebastian. And most likely the person you just honked at is someone you've already come and, you know, come to meet, yeah. meet or you're gonna know them soon. Um, courtesy goes a long way in a small town. It does. And now for our number one thing you should know before moving to Sebastian, parks. So many parks. So many parks. The Sebastian River area has numerous parks for residents and visitors alike to enjoy. And I think we actually have more parks <laughs> per capita than most of the country. Now we've got parks for walking, jogging, exploring, playing, exercising, fishing, camping, and all kinds of other type of recreational activities. I think there is in fact like 35 parks just in our local area. And one of our favorite parks to take the dogs for a walk is called Stormwater Park. It's huge, it's got a lot of wide open trails and several bodies of water, but our all time favorite, it's really hard to choose because we like to camp and fish and walk and exercise. There's so much to do. Yeah, at some point, you're definitely going to want to put parks on your list of places to see and do when you move to Sebastian. Even if you're just here on vacation, try to check out some of these parks. It really is special to have so many diverse public parks to enjoy. Well, that's it, folks. The 10 things you should know before moving to Sebastian, Florida. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want more, definitely hit that subscribe button, or if you have any Ooh. questions or, any, or you need any help, just call the number that's popping up on the screen and that email to reach us and you can reach us directly and that's it. All right, guys. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.